strands to make fantastic pens. We sent the Whopping Assassin TV cameras down to South East London to see the progress of a recently rehomed hound. I've always loved dogs. My first dog was um, Park Greyhound um, and he had a lovely temperament. And then I was also doing my research as to what breed would be the best suitable for my work life balance. Um, and also because of my um, job, um, I'm a therapist, I um, wanted a dog that could potentially be, become a, um, a therapy dog themselves and uh, greyhounds um, fitted the bill. When he first came into my house it was quite surreal. Um, I'm not sure if I was what, what to expect or um, what I was, um, whether I was uh, ready or not, not to um, because I'd never met him um, and he was just coming straight to my house. Um, and I had my friends with me and initially he was spending, uh, I didn't want to, you know, be on him too much because it was a big transition for him. And uh, my friends, even though I'd uh, spoken to them, it's like, give him space. They were like, oh, dog, and uh, rushed to him. But um, right from the first moment, what I liked about him was um, he likes to divide his time equally between people. So he's actually quite sociable. I was expecting this... Um, timid greyhound off the tracks that, um, you know, it would take time to build. And actually, he came in quite confident. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Um, and wanting, demanding hugs from everyone. Um, and I was, I know that um, greyhounds are couch potatoes and they sleep all day. I didn't actually really believe just how much they sleep. So initially, um, I thought to myself, Oh gosh, what's he? He's, he's a bit boring. <laughs> all, he, all he does is sleep, but that's not the case at all. So when I take him out, um, he walks. Lo he's absolutely lovely. He walks well on the lead. Um, he enjoys his walks. Um, you can see how excited he gets, especially when I get his lead out. His um, he doesn't like his tail like a normal dog. It goes round like a helicopter almost. You know, um, and um, he's very very alert. A little bit too alert. The only problems we have is when we come across cats and foxes, um, in which case he's like, oh, hello, um, and wants to chase them. So that can be a bit of a difficulty, especially when we're in the park um, and there are squirrels. He loves a squirrel, um, but he enjoys his walks. He's very social. He's probably more social with um, people. He gets a lot of attention from people. Um, but when he comes across dogs, it was interesting when he, um, when I first got him and he'd come across other breeds, um, it, it felt like everything was new to him. Um, he'd uh, come across this dog and be like, especially small dogs, it's like, do I chase you? Do I eat you? What, you know, do I play with you? What, what do I do? Um, but he's very sociable he's, um, and um, he's very quick to, to assume the position where he shows, oh yeah, no, I just want to play, I'm friendly. With other dogs, it's, it's hit or miss. Sometimes he's not there and he's like, no, I'm just minding my own business, doing my own thing. Then other times he's like, yeah, no, I want to play. But he's always been good with other dogs. He's been, always been great with humans. He's very sociable with humans um, and just loves hugs. We're based in um, South East London, right near Crystal Palace um, Football Club. And... Um, Actually, it seems to be a really nice area um, for him. You don't see that many greyhounds, although we've come across a few. But more often than not, whenever I've never been complimented so much. Um, not that I'm getting the compliments, he's getting the compliments. We'll walk past and, um, and uh, people are always going, oh, is he an X-ray? Oh, he's gorgeous, he's beautiful. Um, look at the muscles. And... Um, there's always a, he's, a, he's a great conversation starter, so he's been great for my social life, actually. So I've had Horatio for about four months, and um, initially um, he was quite quiet. He was very well-behaved, and I thought, oh, amazing, but a little bit too well-behaved. Um, we're still getting to know each other. Although it's been four months, we're still getting to know each other, and it's been a joy every step of the way. Um, and I'm really enjoying getting to know him because he's got a bit of a cheeky nature, actually. Um, he likes looking at people. He's a real people watcher. Um, I like his little quiet ways of... Um, I, I called him um, my silent stalker. Um, 
if I hadn't called him Horatio, I probably should have called him Shadow. Um, because, not so much now, but in the first ages, um, he had to be at my side. And not just at my side, he had to be really, really close and pasted up against me. Um, I couldn't really do, do anything, but we're getting there. Like, um, he knows not to go into the kitchen. Doesn't stop him necessarily. He'll try it now and again. But what he likes to do is he watches me in the kitchen while I'm cooking. Um, so he's always by my side and that's what I wanted. I wanted a companion. Um, but I am seeing that cheeky nature. He's beginning to jump. When I take him round to my parents' place, um, he's very cheeky. He knows how to open up uh, their cupboard doors which is where all the dog treats are kept. And he has helped himself uh, on more than one occasion. So Horatio's brought, he's brought a lot to my life actually. Um, I was quite, I think it's fair to say, I was actually the wrong side of happy um, when I got him. And that's completely changed um, because I have someone to talk to. And he does talk back, believe me. Um, and I think the quality of life, my quality of life is so much better. It's nice to come home and talk to my dog. It's nice to wake up and actually go out for a walk. Um, so actually he's doing my health wonders. Um, and actually I like to think that I'm giving him a good quality of life. He gets spoilt rotten, although I make him work for it. Um, and I dare say he enjoyed racing, but um, actually, from what I, I can see, as much as he loves a, loves a chase, he loves a cuddle. Um, he loves a cuddle. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but, you know, he likes a beer too. I don't give him beer or tea. <laughs> Hello, where are you going? Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> one of the first things I loved about Horatio um, was that he was trying to... Uh, steal my beer when I first got him. Um, having come from kennels, um, we did have to, oh, I say we, the royal we, um, I had to train him um, to, to be, well, to be house trained really, uh, with toileting. And actually he made it easy. Um, we've only had a couple of accidents and you can forgive that actually. Um, he's very, very good on the whole. Um, so I like to think that I've given him a good retirement home. I would definitely say um, get a greyhound. Um, all they want is love. As you can see, they're really easy to look after. Um, all, all they do is sleep. No, that's not all they, what they do. He, he's actually quite active <laughs> as well. Um, they, they just have unconditional love to give. And they're all quirky in their own ways. Um, and I think it's nice to give a dog another lease of life, you know, we, we, we get to retire, you know, we want to enjoy our retirement, it should be the same for, for dogs as well. Um, greyhounds have such a beautiful temperament, as I said, it's my hope to train him as a therapy dog so he can work alongside me, and I think he'll be great for it. I think Horatio and I have... A great future ahead of us. He's already made a good start to the family. Um, my entire family have fallen in love with him. Um, I've fallen in love with him. Looking ahead, we've already got plans. Um, so one of my other passions in life is uh, to travel. It's a bit hard when you've got a dog, but actually that's not going to stop us. Um, we've got a holiday lined up where we're going to go to the forest. Um, so there's something for everyone. Um, he's got plenty of trees to keep him occupied um, and I'll be um, catching up with my friends. Um, so yeah, I don't see it as holding me back, I, I see it as he's someone to come along, uh, along for the ride. Um, we've already had some nice trips out to London together. I think we've got a great future ahead of us. Um, more trips to London, more going out and more making friends. He's already had his first Greyhound date um, and that went well, so there'll be more of that. I'm Jimmy Flint, ex-boxer. If you think about giving a dog a home, look no further than a Greyhound. Greyhounds make fantastic pets. I love these dogs, lovely dogs. If you think about giving a Greyhound a home, contact us on our email. Everybody quiet.